What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second video of the day then. This one is a My Player Career Mode episode and it's episode 110. By the end of today's episode, we'll know whether or not West Ham United are making a Champions League final, which is a crazy thing to say. And we'll also see where they finally place in the Premier League after what's been can only be described as a long season. And to say that this is one of the worst episodes of the My Player Career Mode you're probably going to see would be an understatement. The games in today's episode are far from the most entertaining in terms of chances. There's very little chances going on. I think that's down to the fact that the team's a little bit fatigued and although they've probably got a few more games still in front of them, they're just looking forward to that semi-finals to see if they can make that final of the Champions League. So Premier League games against Nottingham Forest, Chelsea... And Brighton and Hove Albion await us in today's episode, mixed in with that semi-final second leg against Lazio. So as I said, game one was Nottingham Forest. There wasn't a whole heap of chances in this one, but the better of the chances did fall to the Nottingham Forest. They go close there with that man sending his effort over the top of the crossbar. Then into uh, the stroke of half time, West Ham hit back with one of their own, but it wasn't a great shot and it was an easy save for the Forest goalkeeper to have to make, which in turn led to a Forest chance as they clear the ball towards McKay. He finds Zach Clough who found its way through to Cummings and his shot was well saved by Sillison. So in the end, it was quite a boring game and that one ended up being a nil-nil draw. Not the best way to start off today's episode, but what it does mean is the next Premier League game against Chelsea is worth six points because they are the other team who is fighting with West Ham currently to try and take that top four spot. So if West Ham lose that game, chances are they're not finishing in the Champions League in the next season. They'll have to win it in order to try and get themselves back in it. So, yeah. And not the easiest way to do it, let's face it. But given the circumstance that they're currently in, they'll of course try their hardest. But we did have that second leg against Lazio still to come. And the first one, the first leg that is, ended up coming out with a West Ham win. They won 1-0 to hopefully get themselves through to this Champions League final. But we watch the second leg and see how it plays out. Of course, last episode, we saw Watford defeated by a goal to nil by AS Monaco. So it is them with the advantage. So we'll find out. Who it's going to be in that final. Will it be an all-English one, which will be quite crazy? Or will it be an AS Monaco and then potentially Lazio or West Ham United? We'll find out in just a moment's time. As the game got underway, we got this screen. And unfortunately, Watford, they couldn't do the unthinkable. They drew 1-1 in their second leg, which meant Monaco winning 2-1 overall on aggregate. Sends them through to the final and they await their opponents from this second leg here. Lazio's team, exactly the same formation. It's a crazy one at that as well, I've got to say. And it was actually West Ham with the first chance of this one. Six minutes in. They were allowed to go more attacking this time around. Not worried about having to concede an away goal. They just needed that away goal in order to send themselves hopefully through. And they very nearly got it in the opening few minutes. A good save though from the Lazio keeper. Stopped it happening. Of course, away goals are massively important, especially... Because if Lazio score here, it changes absolutely nothing. If West Ham score straight after that, then the away goal comes into play. So, when the game got back underway, Lazio did in fact find that goal that I was talking about. Lockadier got through and finished off very composed and nicely there. Into the corner of the goal and made the score 1-0 to the home side. But, as I said moments ago, this changes nothing. Because if West Ham score... Lazio have to win overall in aggregate because any goals that West Ham get now all count as two for the away goal ruling. So this goal will send it to extra time and penalties potentially, but a goal for West Ham would throw an entire spanner into the works in terms of what Lazio are trying to do. And it just so happens that spanner came with 15 minutes to go. A 1-2 with Mikel Antonio. Ben gave him it back and he finished the move off expertly to send West Ham through to hopefully... This Champions League final. There's 14 minutes to go. Lazio need another two goals to stop it happening. In a game where, honestly, they didn't create a lot in the first half. So the chances of that happening are very, very slim. Mikel Antonio's goal could be the difference to send them through. But with seven minutes to go, they could have had the entire tie wrapped up. Ben got through, luckily, may I add. But, unfortunately for him, his effort... He dinked it over the top of the keeper and found the top of the crossbar from it. Lazio, to their credit, did get one last opportunity. Medran going through and his right-footed effort found its way just past that post. And ultimately, that would send them out of this competition. They did everything they could to try and get themselves back into it. But it just was not enough. And that will be now the Hammers 
heading to the Champions League final. Seems crazy to say it, to be honest, because if you consider the fact that Man United were the team who won it last time out, and this time it's Ben going back there with West Ham United, not with that Manchester United team, seems a bit strange. But we find out they will be taking on AS Monaco and not, in fact, an all-English final of Watford against West Ham. That would have been some final, wouldn't it? We then came out of game to find that Manchester United have been crowned Premier League champions. Unfortunately, West Ham couldn't take them right to the wire. They, you know, kind of dipped off towards the back end of the season and it really showed with them having the Champions League to fight with. But Ben's parent club have got their hands back on the Premier League trophy again. And you can say as well, it's kind of down to the fact that they maybe were knocked out by Atletico quite early on. So that might have been why they were able to put a lot of time and effort into that Premier League and why maybe West Ham United have dropped off it a little bit. But that is confirmation that West Ham are playing a Champions League final against AS Monaco. Monaco beat Barca, they beat Real, they beat Watford to get here. So it's going to be a really, really tough task, that one. But the last two games then, as I said, game against Chelsea, game against Brighton Hove Albion. If West Ham don't win this one here, they can pretty much kiss their top four hopes goodbye. It is most likely going to be that situation anyway, even if they win this game. Having said that, I'm pretty sure as well, Chelsea also needed to win to keep their top four hopes alive. Because I think at this point, Southampton, if I'm not mistaken, have climbed above them to take that fourth place spot. So both teams need to win here to keep up their hopes of a top four place. I think Southampton were four points ahead of both of them going into this year. 63 points they were on. However, West Ham have played an extra game than both Chelsea and Southampton. So the likelihood of them getting top four is very, very slim. Heading into it, though, they'll try their best, of course. It's the usual five at the back from Chelsea. Front three of Castiello, Hazard and Morata. And uh, we'll just see how it pans out. But the first chance did go the way of West Ham. And as I said, these games were just shocking. Shocking to play. I hope sincerely EA fixed the AI for FIFA 19. This one was so close to going in. And then I saw it said offside. So unfortunately, even if that had gone in, in eight minutes to go... Wouldn't have counted. And that was the only chance in 90 minutes of football. And this is what I'm talking about when I say about fixing the AI. The problem is, simply put this year, it's not been good enough. You're seeing time and time again with the fact of YouTubers having to play around with sliders to make Legendary harder because they're finding it too easy to win games on Legendary difficulty. I'm not saying make it ridiculously hard so they can't win games, but clearly there's something wrong with this year's AI. I don't know what it is because last year... Legendary was difficult at the start and then it kind of got hard, uh, easy as you progress through the, you know, the game. And that's kind of the way it should be because once you start playing more and more, you kind of work it out and get to be better. But I found Legendary hard last year. This year, I started off on Legendary and I was winning the league with Huddersfield. So I sincerely hope that for FIFA 19, the AI is fixed heading into it, especially for my player career mode as well, because some of the stuff they do in this is just so stupid. Some of the passes they play is ridiculous. And just overall... If you're playing a 90 minute game of football, you want to see chances. And this is summed up with the final game of the season in the Premier League to Brighton. When there was four chances between the two teams. Two for either side. That's simply not enough chances in a 90 minute game. But that is the final team that will take place here for this final Premier League game of West Ham and Ben's journey here at West Ham. The only thing left now is a Champions League final. And I'll talk about that in just a moment because we might be live streaming that Champions League final for you tomorrow. Hopefully, anyways, that's my aim. But as I said, the last game coming at you here from London Stadium, Brighton and Hove Albion, the opponents. Only really one chance or two chances worth showing you. This one, the first one from Ben in the second half as he cut it onto his left and looked to curl one, but couldn't quite hit the target. Ended up putting it wide there. And then, as I said, there was one more opportunity to show you, which came from actually Brighton as they went up the other end with not too long left on the clock either, and they managed to create a chance. 15 minutes left. Benzia here on the ball. He finds a pass into Guedes. He then lays it off to a completely unmarked Dem, who hit the woodwork, actually, from this one. Not quite sure what on earth happened to West Ham's defending there, but it nearly came to be a calamity, because it was very nearly a Brighton winner, and it ended up being another nil-nil draw. Yeah. I can see the comments already. How can we get so many nil-nil draws? I have absolutely no idea. I'm putting it down to this year's AI. But hey, listen, it happens. And that's confirmation there. Showing you there was really only two chances to show you in the entire game. But going on to the live stream then. What do you guys want me to do for it? Because I could either live stream the Champions League final tomorrow around about 4pm or 6pm. Which of course is Sunday and that's English time, UK time. So I apologise to anybody who can't make it. Or I could just do it as its own episode, as like a live episode, 
where we do an entire thing of I sit there, do the entire recording and have it as like a QA. and a So what I'll do is I will put it up as a poll on the top right hand side of this video. We could do a live game where I answer some of your questions during it in terms of a recorded episode or I could do it as a live stream. So that is your choices, guys. Let me know by voting on the poll at the top right hand side of this video. And hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. Apologies as well if it is a little bit short. Of course, I could only fit four games into this, having that Champions League final still to come. And the games weren't that entertaining. But that's confirmation of this final Premier League table. Not quite sure what's going to happen after this season because I don't know what's going to happen with Ben and all this other stuff. We'll try and sort that out as well, potentially after this episode. But now though, guys, that is it for this episode. If you did like what you see, the subscribe button's down below. And I'll catch you all tomorrow for another video. See you all then. Adios.